Now we know what pollination is and how it can be brought about. It is the process that involves transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the same flower or another one. Now let us have a look at what happens after pollination is successful. If pollination is successfully carried out, then the male gamete will fuse with the female gamete giving rise to an embryo formation. Wait, we know this process has a specific name. And what is it? It's called fertilization. It is the process that involves the fusion of male and female gametes to give rise to an embryo. Now let us see how fertilization occurs in flowers. For this process to occur, both the gametes need to be close to each other, right? But how is this possible? The male gametes from the pollen grains deposited on the stigma of the flower start travelling towards the ovary through a tube. This tube is called the pollen tube. Where do you think the pollen tube will travel from? It will travel through the entire style and finally reach the ovary. Here, the male gamete fuses with the female gamete to form a single cell structure. Now, what do we mean by a single cell structure? It means that the fusion of the two will create a single unit called a zygote which will further develop into an organism. Yes, that's how it works. In short, this is how the process of fertilization occurs in plants with flowers. Are you wondering what happens to all these parts of the flower post-fertilization? What will happen once the embryo starts developing? Will all these parts remain intact? After fertilization is completed, the ovule develops into a seed, the ovary develops into a fruit and the other accessory parts like the petals and the sepals fall off. This means the identity of the flower completely changes when it turns into a fruit. Yes, that's how it is. Now when the seed is planted into the soil, it will germinate into a new plant during favourable conditions. And this plant will grow flowers that will carry out pollination which will give new fruits and thus new plants. This is how the cycle continues. A single seed that gives us a plant which on flowering will undergo pollination and give us a fruit. The fruit contains seeds that hold new life in itself. When planted in soil and during favourable conditions, the seed germinates and a new plant is formed. That's how the plant life cycle goes on.